Hi guys, it's Miss Shopslot, and I'm back today with a thrift haul, a couple of garage sale things tossed in. I hope you all are well and happy new year. I hope everyone had a safe and happy new year. I spent mine on the couch, in my jammies, with my dog, a glass of wine, and opening up a gigantic um, jewelry box, like a, you know, like a jewelry jar, but it was a box. What I did was I went through it and got rid of all of the junk junk and what's left I'm going to do a haul with you. It's going to be, you know, there's some good stuff in there and then there's some, you know, sellable stuff. But I got rid of like all the broken or just, you know, Claire's Mardi Gras beads, that kind of thing. Because it would have, it took me over an hour to get through it myself. So going on a live would have just taken forever. So I, I slimmed it down and I'll show you guys the two big huge bags that I got that were just junk. Um, but without further ado, we'll get into the haul. Uh, the first thing we got is some clothes. I saw this and I just about died. The color is phenomenal. Let me back you guys up here. It is this beautiful Christian Dior. Um, it was $6, it's a robe. It is so pretty, and then you can see the Dior and the flowers. Oh, this is so nice. So vintage mediums, sometimes things ran bigger. I would say this is probably more of a large. Um, it does not fit me yet, but it will. So I am probably going to keep it. It's so beautiful. Uh, next clothing item I picked up was this. I love these old school bomber jackets. I have another Versace and I have two Chanel, a black and a pink one. Um, I saw this online and I had to have it for my collection. And it's the silk bomber Versace jacket. Like I just wear these with jeans and like a tank top underneath. Like, this is just so iconic 90s Versace. I paid $40 for this. Um, oh, yeah, it's the $6 for the that. Then we got this set. It was $10. I, I think I offered her $8. Um, I know somebody was bent out of shape about me making um, an offer on something. That's what garage sales do. I mean, 90% of people at garage sales haggle. Whether it's, you know, people knowing that people are going to haggle or people actually haggling. If somebody didn't want to sell something for a certain price, they wouldn't. And I'd either buy it at the price they asked or I'd walk away. So to get bent out of shape because I asked for a cheaper price, I mean, that's kind of how garage sales go. Now, would I say this is $10, would I ask for a dollar? No, that's just rude. But if it was $3 and I said two and they were like, sure, I mean, there's really no harm in that. If you're super lowballing, then yeah, but no. So, anyways, it's this brand new Vera Bradley set with the slippers and the travel blanket pillow. Playful Penguins fleece travel blanket. Um, I had t intended to bring this with me to Florida, and I forgot it because it was in a bag to be done. It hadn't gotten filmed yet, so... That's that. Great Christmas present, too. But Christmas is over, so they go to next year's Christmas gifts. <laughs> um, okay, this is just random stuff. I got these Live Lit, Live Light organic pads. Um, it was $1.99 and then $2.99. And I bought a couple other bags and I gave those, put those in my daughter and her roommate stockings. Has anyone tried them? Do you like them? Um, are they worth the price? Oh, here's another another pack um so i picked those up oh let's continue with this i just had to these aquanets <laughs> 50 cents a piece these actually do sell and for a decent price um so i will probably resell these uh sometimes filmmakers do it sometimes older ladies who love their thing and will only use that thing We'll pick that stuff up. So, Aquanaut, I used to use this as a teenager. I used to have the biggest wave, I guess. <laughs> oh, my God. I used to do my hair so high, and it would just stay there. And I would have people 
women like how do you get your hair to stay like that lots of aquanut the red can though uh this is coco zen wash coconut oil moisturizing cream body wash by pink this was two dollars this i she wound up giving me the whole set i think for like seven dollars or six dollars it's the coco zen wash these two which i'll put away for christmas next year um or even I could even do these for uh, Valentine's Day. Um, body buff, coconut oil, body wash, and shampoo, or cream something. But there's two of them. These actually do sell. And then she threw these in. This was at the creepiest garage sale. It was like garage sale this way, and it was all the way in the back of a barn, and it just looked so suspect. And my husband was like, well, good luck. She threw these in. He's like, good luck. Uh, <laughs> I loved you <laughs> as I walked back there myself. <laughs> um, I picked this up for myself. This is the Clinique Moisturizer Two Ways Gel and Hydrate. Hydratant. Uh, it was $14.99. This sells for probably about $40 or $50. Uh, it's brand new. These were in a bag for $5. Some of the prices at my local thrift have gone up. Um, I understand what they're doing. Some, If it's too expensive, I just don't buy it. Like A lot of times for resale, as far as like health and beauty stuff, it kind of sits, you know, it's it's a wait, waiting game on that stuff. Um, sometimes it'll sell right away, but most times it sits. So if the price is too high, I just pass on it. Um, but this is Soma Rollerballs. There's Citron and Driftwood, Apricot and Sandalwood jasmine blossom and tea these are great stocking stuffers uh they were ten dollars a piece but great stocking stuffers also great for easter baskets stuff like this i tend to put in my um gift bin i was able to take care of my daughter's roommate this year and give her a bunch of gifts from that so it was nice i know she doesn't get much and i feel i feel bad and i love to take care of her uh, I did get this Karenique Scalp Stimulating Shampoo. This stuff sells really well, but here's the thing. So I'm starting a new medication. And supposedly, you can lose a lot of hair. So I'm trying to get things that I know work and use use those. And I said to stay hydrated. I'm actually starting Wagovi. Very excited. Very excited. Um, and we'll see if anybody's on Wagovi or anything like that, Ozempic or anything for weight loss, share your stories, please. I'd love to hear, uh, biotin premium hair oil, same reason I picked this up. And then I think this is biotin too. biotin pro Gro growth, leave in conditioning spray. Now, listen, I have a lot of hair I could lose, but <laughs> after that point, I don't want to lose any more. So I'm going to do what I can. I know a lot of people said drink lots and lots of water and take uh, prenatal vitamins. And there was something else I have to go look and see. Uh, this is pure and organic leg spray. Dead sea, magnesium, and cucumber. I get restless legs really bad sometimes. And I was wondering if this would help because I heard magnesium does help. So I wonder if putting this on my legs will help. We'll see. I'm going to give it a try. Uh, these were from a garage sale. She had five for the both, five for the pair, and it is Pacifica Contact High and Pacifica Star Child, and they both have, this one has crystals in it, Ooh, and this one has, I'm sure, crystals as well. Pacifica can sell very well. So I picked those up. I picked this bottle up for my daughter. It is Marc Jacobs Honey. It smells really nice. She's got quite the collection of perfumes now that I've given to her. But she likes the Marc Jacobs. Um, I pick these up all the time for like a quarter at garage sales. Throw them in a bin and then when I leave the house, I throw one in my purse, leave one in the car. Uh, this is Giorgio Armani. Must be open because it's got a little bit of... This is Giorgio Armani Universal Nude Micro Fill Loose Powder. I paid $4 for it. I'm going to give this a try. 
And these two are both my color, so I'm excited to give these a try because I would never pay the price to try them. But at this price, definitely worth trying. And it is the Chanel Le Beige's Eau de Tint Water Fresh Tint. These were, uh, two, I think this was $2.99, and this one was $3.99. And this is the Christian Dior Air Flash Spray Foundation. This is pretty much full water resistant both my colors i'm gonna try and see what i like i kind of do like this it's not a lot of color though <clears throat> it's just kind of like if you were tan already and you just threw that on your face as like you know to cover up a little bit um that seems to be what that's for okay now we got some jewelry we'll start off with this was from a garage sale and this is buffalo and this is super cool it is a Buffalo, New York, 1832 to 1982 belt buckle. It was $5. I think I offered them three. It's brass. It is from Buffalo Registered Collection, solid brass. Erie Savings Bank. So it's from a bank. And then this is the Great American Buckle Collection, Heritage Mint, the Charging Buffalo Buckle. I already have one of these, so I'm probably going to sell this one either by taking it to my consignment shop or seeing if uh, the one vintage guy that buys stuff from me, if he wants it. Um, but I'll probably sell this one because the dates don't really mean anything to me. This I picked up. Did I pick this up at? I think this I picked up at, um, what do you call it? Uh... Plato's Closet. And it's just a coach keychain. It's a gift for my cousins when they come. My cousin. I thought it was really cute. My daughter already has one. I believe I paid $20 for this, which is a good price. I think that's what my I think my daughter paid like $25 or $30 for hers at the outlet. Uh, I picked this set up. So I don't even remember. Oh, this is from that's not that. That's something different got mixed in. That was from the last uh, haul I did, last jewelry jar opening. These I picked up. I forget the name of these. They're not Italian fists, I don't think. They're called something else. Usually in Italian or Spanish cultures, it's to ward off evil spirits. Um, but I thought they were cool in all the different crystal and i'm gonna give one to my daughter i'm gonna keep one and then i'll probably give the rest away to friends family i picked this little container up it was a dollar at a garage sale i think it's so bougie and pretty and of course it's filled with jewelry right now so we got this stuff um i got two of these that i picked up um and i think they were 59 cents a piece and they're little magnifying glasses. I think this might be sterling. I'm not positive. I'm not positive if the other one is. They're both... Um, I just thought they were really cute. So I picked that up. I picked this guy up because this is the one I'm going to keep. I believe. Is this the one I'm going to keep? One of these I'm keeping. It must be this one. This one I'm going to use... I have a couple because I have a bunch of charms, so I'm going to start filling them up. Um, I paid $15 for this, which I thought was a really good deal. I love these vintage bracelets. Um, these I'm probably going to sell. Oh, it's Gary and Craig. Oh, Those ones I'll probably sell. I'm not sure. This one says EO... Love, 1948 to 1973. Dale and Mark. These must be her children, maybe? I think those are so cool. So I'm probably going to use this bracelet. And then I got two more bracelets that had a bunch of charms. Some of them I'm going to use, some of them I'm going to keep. This one was $10 for the charm bracelet, sterling silver. Um, I like the Canadian maple leaf. The little car is super cool. I love this little, um, it says love you, I love you. 
that's pretty cool. This one. That's it on that one. And then this guy was $9.99. And we got, let's start from the clasp. We got these little praying hands and it says Hayward Sterling. Uh-oh. Hayward Sterling. And I can't read what the other thing says, but Hayward Sterling. Then we have Graduate. We have Heart. So these haven't been signed yet, which is kind of cool because then I can take them somewhere. This is a horseshoe. We got Bill over here. We got United States Army, which I will keep for my dad. We have Bob. <laughs> we have a green heart charm. We have a key and a heart. And we have... Is it, I don't know if that's a poinsettia or a plumeria. I don't know, but I picked those up. And then these three... Oh, wait, there's more than that. I picked this sterling silver and lapis br bracelet cuff up for $10. I picked this ring up for, this was 20 but I'm really upset with myself. I loved it. It says, you know, it was made in Mexico, sterling silver. However, I didn't realize, I believe that's plastic. It still looks good. But plastic. Boo. Um, this bracelet was 12 and it's by Doug Paulus. Doug Paulus? Really cool. Will look really nice shined up. And it's sterling silver. And these last two rings were sterling. And I really like this one. Um, this one was $7.99. And I like it because it's perfect midi ring. I think they call these like cigar band rings. And this one I picked up to clean up and give to my sister-in-law. I believe that, it, and this was $5.99. And I believe that's Pearl and Larimar. And she really likes Larimar. So I figured I would clean that up and give that to her. Now, these, I got some online purchases. This I picked up online. This was $25 for the set, and they are all sterling. I've never seen little skinny ones like this. Um, but they're all sterling marked 925, and I paid $25 for the, the lot of them. But I've never seen little ones like this. Like, I, if I would have seen these, I would have just probably been like, no. But, yeah, they're marked. You can see. They're all marked in different spots. But, well, probably the same spot. Just So, I wanted to get my bangle collection up. I, I have my... I have some more. So I think I'm pretty good now on bangles. I picked this up online. These were from a pair of shoes, I believe these were. Um, but they're authentic. Gucci. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I don't, I'm not sure yet. I was either going to put them on like a necklace, like a big old chunky, maybe two big chunky necklaces, or one necklace maybe a bracelet that might be too oh, no that might not be too big you know me I love the big stuff um I'm not really sure any ideas I don't want to put them on a pair of shoes because I feel like that's fake in the funk and I don't want to do that but I feel like jewelry would be cool <sighs> maybe a belt I'm not sure this oh okay let me show you the other thing first and then I'll show you that 
All right, so this is marked 925. This is sterling. Nice little gold cover chain with a little... I don't care for that. I'll probably take that off and use the chain. But this, you guys, uh, sometimes I get lucky. I swear this is like one of the most beautiful things. I paid $50 for it. She had other stuff that was gorgeous and sold very quickly. I don't know why this didn't sell quickly unless people didn't think it was real. I don't know because it's well worth $50. It is marked 925 SD. I forget who that is. But uh, are you ready? Are you ready? <gasps> oh my God. It's not even the petite point. These are big chunks of turquoise. Sleeping Beauty, I believe, because I don't see any marks except for this guy and that might not be even a real mark it might just be dirt because none of the other ones have it but look at how freaking gorgeous that is like i am obsessed i love the navajo Ju santa fe look with the ugh, it's just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous in my forever collection for sure and then here's a better look at that all right that's it for jewelry and now we have a couple of purses the first is this gigantic kate spade and this i, I want to say this was like three bucks like it was a ridiculous price it's in such good condition it is a gigantic tote um it was really cheap i know that the no cracks or anything the inside has a little bit of wear, but nothing crazy. Um, but yeah, this was like $3. $5 at the most. And no, I didn't haggle. <laughs> um, this guy, I'm so torn. So I have begun to love Coach again. I don't like anything cloth. Um, I like the leathers and that. This one, I really love. But I'm torn. It's nice and small. Um, it's got the, it's, I mean, this thing is brand new. There's nowhere. I, does it have the price in there? I know it was like five bucks. Um, but I, I'm so torn on keeping or not because I've become such a bougie bag person that it's hard, but I think I'm probably going to sell that. I mean, keep it. I don't know. I think I might keep this. I think I might keep it. I think. Okay. Last but not least, I got an amazing, amazing deal. I was so excited. I try not to get too excited until I see it actually moving in the system <laughs> on its way to me. Um, so when it was, I, I was just like, this is, this is crazy. So I've already had it authenticated. It is authentic. I paid $100 for it. This was one of my... Um, bucket list i actually had the sneakers to match this but i sold them because they were just loud but dun 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 Ugh. listen this thing is in immaculate condition i've already brought it to disney um it is in immaculate condition it is the louis vuitton graffiti this bag in this condition sells for about eight nine hundred at least at least i paid a hundred dollars for it i mean anywhere that came to this is from when I used it. It was perfect condition. And like, I am just beside myself that I got one of these, especially for the price of $100. Inside is perfect. Where's the... Do, do, do. Here's the... So it was an 01. I mean, this bag is 20 years old, 22 years old. And just immaculate. She said she never used it. There's like no chipping on the or wear on the zipper. I couldn't be happier. I'm so, so freaking excited about this purchase. Um, for right now, I am keeping. Probably eventually will sell. Uh, I use it as either a wristlet or I have a long um, gold strap that I, I either use it like a wristlet like this or I have a long gold strap that I use to use it as a crossbody. 
and yeah like just absolutely gorgeous condition okay so that's my haul i hope you guys liked it and as always like comment share subscribe and i'll see you guys next time